Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we shall learn to graph proportional relationship and interpret unit rate as the slope of related linear function. First of all, we will learn the concept of slope. Now slope is the rate of change between any two points on a line. To find the slope of a line, we will find the ratio of change in y that is the vertical change and the change in x that is the horizontal change. So slope of a line will be equal to change in y upon change in x. Now consider this graph. Now this is a graph of a straight line. Now consider the points 3, 3 and 7, 7. That is the points whose coordinates are 3, 3 and 7, 7. Now initially we have taken y coordinate as 3. Then we move 4 steps vertically and reach the point 7. Now y coordinate is 7. Similarly, initially the x coordinate is 3 and we move 4 places horizontally and reach the point 7. Now the x coordinate is 7 and a straight line is passing through these two ordered pairs. Now we know that slope of a line is equal to change in y upon change in x. Now here in the graph you can see that initially we have x is equal to 3 and we have reached to the point 7 on the x-axis. So the change in x will be equal to 7 minus 3 and similarly the change in y will be equal to 7 minus 3. Therefore, in the given graph, slope of the line is equal to change in y that is 7 minus 3 upon change in x which is again 7 minus 3 so this is equal to 4 upon 4 which is equal to 1 upon 1 which is equal to 1 therefore slope of the line is equal to 1 now the constant rate of change is unit rate so slope is unit rate in a proportional relationship now we have already studied that we can conclude a proportional relationship from a graph if there is a constant rate of change in x and y between any two points
on the graph and if the ratio of y upon x is a constant and if there is a constant rate of change what the ratio of y upon x differs then we say that the two quantities are not proportional also whenever a line passes through the region whose coordinates are 0 0 then it is in a proportional relationship and unit rate is equal to y minus 0 that is the change in y upon change in x that is x minus 0 which is equal to y upon x also note that slope tells the steepness of a line higher the slope steeper the line so slope of a line is equal to change in y upon change in x or you can say vertical change upon horizontal change and if any line passes through the points x1 y1 and x2 y2 then slope of the line will be equal to change in y that is y2 minus y1 upon change in x that is x2 minus x1 or you can see slope of a line is equal to rise upon run now the following graph represents the distance traveled while driving on a highway i will use the graph to find the constant rate of change now to find the rate of change we pick any two points on the line Now let us pick the point 150 and 200 that is the points whose coordinates are 150 and 
which lie on the given line. Now the rate of change will be equal to the change in y that is the change of miles upon change in x that is the change in hours. As here the x-axis is representing the hours and y-axis is representing the distance traveled in miles. Now we have considered these two points. Now here the change of miles will be equal to the change in y that is equal to 100 minus 50 and the change in hours will be equal to the change in x that is equal to 2 minus 1. So the rate of change will be equal to 100 minus 50 upon 2 minus 1 which is equal to 50 upon 1 which is equal to 50 miles per hour. So the distance increases by 50 miles in 1 hour. So this is the unit rate of change per hour. So the unit rate of traveling is 50 miles per hour. Now in the graph you can also see that this line passes through the origin so the quantities are proportional. Now here for these three points we will see the ratio of y upon x. Now here the ratio 50 upon 1 is equal to 50. 100 upon 2 is equal to 50 and 150 upon 3 is also equal to 50. Therefore, we have the ratios 50 upon 1 is equal to 100 upon 2 is equal to 150 upon 3 which is equal to 50. Now we know that Two quantities x and y are proportional if the ratio of y upon x is a constant. Now here also these quantities are in proportion as here the ratio of y upon x is a constant which is 50. And here 50 is called the constant of proportionality. So the two quantities x and y are in proportion if y upon x is equal to k where k is called the constant of proportionality. Now here in this case we are getting 50 upon 1 is equal to 100 upon 2 is equal to 150 upon 3 is equal to 50 where 50 is a constant of proportionality. So we can say that this is a proportional relationship as all the ratios are same and are equal to the constant of proportionality. Now this relation can also be written as y is equal to kx 
which is a linear function. So if the two quantities are related in such a manner, then they are proportional. Also see it is a linear relationship between two quantities and its graph will always pass through the origin. So any equation of the type y is equal to kx always passes through the origin So its slope is always equal to k. So in a graph, line always passes Through the region that is zero zero that is the point whose coordinates are zero zero which is one other pair and let the other other pair or the other point B, X, Y. Now let this point be X1, Y1 and this point be X2, Y2. Now we know that slope of the line is equal to change in Y that is Y2 minus Y1 upon change in X that is X2 minus X1. So this is equal to y minus 0 upon x minus 0 which is equal to y upon x which is equal to k. So in a proportional relationship unit rate is y upon x. Now we can also compare the graphs of two proportional relationships using the slope. Now we know that slope tells us the steepness of a line. How is the slope steeper than line? And we know that slope is a unit rate in proportional relationship. So we can compare the two proportional relationships by using the slope. For example, two bakery shops sell cakes and other baked items. Now this given graph shows the number of cakes sold by both shopkeepers on y-axis and number of days on x-axis. Now to find the slope of bakery A, consider these two points which lie on this line. Now for bakery A, the slope is equal to change in y upon change in x that is 8 minus 4 upon 4 minus 2. So this is equal to 4 upon 2 which is equal to 2 which is equal to 2 cakes per day. Now to find the slope for bakery B consider 
these two points with coordinates 0, 0 and 2, 6. Now for bakery B, the slope is equal to change in Y that is 6 minus 0 upon change in X that is 2 minus 0 which is equal to 3 upon 1 which is equal to 3 which is equal to 3 cakes per day. So bakery B sells more cakes per day. Also, note that bakery B has higher slope So it has a steeper line than bakery A. From the graph you can also see that bakery B has a steeper line than bakery A. As Bakery B has higher slope than that of Bakery A. So in this session, you have learned to graph proportional relationship and interpret unit rate as slope of related linear function. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.